In the ever-evolving landscape of the stock market, two giants, NVIDIA and Broadcom, have garnered significant attention from investors. These companies share two attributes that are particularly appealing to the market, a strong presence in artificial intelligence AI and the strategic implementation of stock splits. Both factors have piqued investor interest, leading to the pertinent question of which company presents a better investment opportunity today. This video aims to provide an in-depth comparison of NVIDIA and Broadcom, evaluating them based on revenue growth, profitability, valuation, and future prospects to determine the superior choice for investors. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Daily Stock Update. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss any of our uploads and also enter our giveaway. But before that, Alert, this is not a financial advice video. When comparing the revenue growth of NVIDIA and Broadcom, NVIDIA clearly takes the lead. In the most recent quarter, NVIDIA's revenue growth soared by an impressive 262%, while Broadcom's revenue growth stood at 4299%. It's important to note that Broadcom's revenue growth was significantly influenced by its acquisition of VMware. Excluding this acquisition, Broadcom's organic revenue growth was closer to 10%. This discrepancy highlights NVIDIA's robust organic growth compared to Broadcom's reliance on strategic acquisitions to boost its revenue. Broadcom's strategy of acquiring companies to enhance its revenue and profitability is a well-established approach, with a track record of success over the long term. However, NVIDIA's current trajectory suggests sustained elevated revenue growth, driven by the increasing demand for AI infrastructure and its leading position in providing GPUs and related services. Both NVIDIA and Broadcom have demonstrated commendable improvements in their operating profit margins over the years, showcasing their ability to achieve economies of scale. NVIDIA leads with an operating profit margin of 59.84%, compared to Broadcom's 33.51%. However, it's essential to consider that Broadcom's profit margin was temporarily impacted by the VMware acquisition. Such acquisitions often result in initial cost increases due to due diligence, integration, and consulting expenses. Broadcom's management anticipates that these costs will decrease in the coming quarters, restoring the company's profit margins to their typical levels. They plan to reduce VMware's operating expenses significantly by eliminating redundant roles, which should enhance profitability. Looking ahead, Wall Street analysts predict that Broadcom's earnings per share apps will grow by 17.7% annually over the next five years, outpacing the S&P 500's expected growth of 11.3%. In contrast, NVIDIA's apps is projected to grow by a staggering 43% per year during the same period. This substantial difference underscores NVIDIA's more direct involvement in the rapidly expanding AI market whereas Broadcom benefits from AI indirectly through its diversified technology offerings. Analyzing cash flow from operations to sales, NVIDIA and Broadcom are relatively close, with NVIDIA at 58% and Broadcom at 44-45%. Both companies have shown consistent improvements in this metric, highlighting their strong operational efficiencies. Historically, Broadcom has maintained a lead over NVIDIA in terms of cash flow from operations to sales. However, as Broadcom digests its VMware acquisition and NVIDIA's growth rate stabilizes, it's plausible that Broadcom might regain its lead in this area over the next few quarters. Valuation is a crucial factor when determining the attractiveness of a stock. NVIDIA currently trades at a forward price to earnings P ratio of 37.97, making it more expensive compared to Broadcom's forward P ratio of 28.96. Despite NVIDIA's higher valuation, the company's impressive growth prospects justify this premium. It's worth noting that NVIDIA has already completed its stock split, whereas Broadcom split is still pending. While stock splits can make shares more accessible to a broader range of investors, they do not inherently alter a company's underlying profitability or valuation. Therefore, the pending stock split for Broadcom does not significantly impact the investment decision. Conclusion, based on the comprehensive analysis of revenue growth, profitability, future earnings growth, and valuation, NVIDIA emerges as the superior choice. Despite its higher valuation, NVIDIA's strong revenue growth, higher profit margins, and substantial earnings growth expectations justify the premium price. Broadcom, 
with its strategic acquisitions and solid operational efficiency, remains a formidable player in the tech sector. However, NVIDIA's direct involvement in the booming AI market positions it as a more compelling investment opportunity today. For investors looking to capitalize on the AI revolution and seeking a stock with a completed split, NVIDIA stands out as the better buy. Broadcom's future prospects are promising, especially as it integrates VMware and potentially accelerates its growth. Yet, NVIDIA's impressive growth metrics and leading position in AI make it the more attractive option for investors aiming to benefit from the advancements in artificial intelligence and the stock split strategy. Friends, that's all we have for you today. What is your opinion about today's video? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.